Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of this beautiful boat. Isn't this just wonderful? I'm very, very happy with this. Um, let's finish this, let's do some reflections. Work on reflections and we keep it simple, okay? I'm gonna keep it simple, but creating a very realistic um, reflection, okay? Don't go anywhere, it's gonna be fun. Okay, here we go. Um, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So, this is it, everything is the same, my same palette. I'll just change my turpentine, okay? Um, now, let me get my brushes, just get them to one side here so I can reach them. And what I'm going to do is just very quickly um, do a very light kind of a pencil sketch, just very, very loosely. Now, I need to fix the red here. This red should be higher, so I will fix that. Don't worry. Now, I just want to create a very subtle outline. You see? Just very, just so I know where to go with my reflections, that's all. Um, this one comes out like that. Gives it a wiggle. Goes in and out, in and out. Like that, okay? And then there's a few little bits here and there. Uh, we can work on that as we go. I think that's fairly, that's fairly good. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go and have a bit of fun with this. I'm going to start with my small flat brush, okay? And what I want to do is just fix this red in here. It needs more red, doesn't it? So let me just dampen that now ever so slightly. And let me take some cadmium red. I'll just take a hint of cadmium red. I think that's all I need. Actually, let's take a hint of crimson as well. Just the slightest little hint. And I want to go up. I'm going to put, pop a little bit of red in here as well, look. Uh, perhaps a bit of red just there, just to warm that slightly. I'm going to go up to the same height as that, okay? So it's just, that's all I wanted to do, just to bring it up that little bit. And then with your pointy brush, you could just refine the edge of that just a little. Sharpen the edge of it just a little bit, okay? Now I think that's all I need to do. I might then just bring that dark line. Let me just get some black on my brush, just a tiny amount of black. I might then just bring that dark line around a little bit through as well, okay? Just to separate them out, that's all. Now I'll add a touch of darkness just in there. That's fine, okay? Well, that's really all we need to do. That's it, I'm finished with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, I'm moving on to, which side should we start? I'm thinking I might go with the dark side first. I think I will. Keep the fun part for later, yes? All oh, this lovely yellowy color. Let's try, um, basically, replicating the colors that we have, all right? Um, it's a very dark shadowy colour, a bit of a dark reddy colour. Let's try a bit of dark reddy colour first, yes? I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to go to my slightly smaller flat brush. It's a number six flat, okay? And I'm just going to dampen that. <clears throat> they still have paint on them, actually, since my part one. Now, let's go and make a nice shadowy colour. Let's take some phthalo blue. Let's take a little crimson. And bear in mind now the shadows will, the, the colours in the reflections will be slightly darker than the colours on the boat, okay? <clears throat> you can see that even by looking at the reflections and looking at the photograph, you can see that the reflections are much darker in colour. So I'm going to make a very dark shadow colour with blue, little crimson and a hint of black, okay? That should be a fair bit darker, let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to just dampen that now slightly. Um, I don't want this to be too, too wet. But I don't want it to be too kind of thick either. Does that make sense? Now, I'm going to go first and create this line in the reflection, okay? So I'm going to just basically start in here, work my way out. It was up like that, doesn't it? Gives it a bit of a wiggle here and there. 
<coughs> excuse me and then let's just fill all that in over there now i'm going to mix up plenty of this color some blue some pink and a hint of black and then take a hint of white now i don't want this too bluey so i'm going to add a decent amount of black into this there, that's a bit better. Okay, I'm gonna go along here just out to the edge. And okay, there we are. Don't worry about the edges too much because we can fix all of those later, okay? So let's just go like that. This is just kind of the base color really now. So don't worry about getting this absolutely right. We will be adding colors into this as we go. <clears throat> now I'll take a little bit of pink. So a little tiny bit of crimson. I'm just going to warm it slightly. Just here and there. Okay. And then I'm going to, with this same brush now, I have the same colors on my brush. I'm going to take a bit more of the pink. And a little hint of the cadmium red and i'm going to put that darker red in by the reflection in here okay so let's just imagine that's reflecting down you see now we need to go a bit darker don't we i'm going to take a hint of black with burnt umber and a hint of cadmium red okay i'm going to go darker and warmer with this And the important thing about this is that all your brush strokes, no matter what you're painting in these reflections, all the brush strokes will go left to right, so horizontal, okay? You have to keep your brush strokes horizontal when doing this. And that will make your reflection much more believable, okay? I promise it will. Just try it and you'll see. Now I'm gonna, while I have this color on my brush, take a hint more red. I'm going to put in this reflection here as well, okay? So, let's just go along. You don't have to copy the photograph exactly, as long as you give it a good wiggle, left and right, like this, look. <clears throat> That's all you need to do. That's the important thing. There we go. And you can even soften it into that shadowy colour as well. So now you can kind of see the reflection coming to life a little bit, can't you? And this is just the very early stages of the reflection. I'm now going to start putting in... Um, there's a bit of a dark out here too, isn't there? I think that's the shadow, maybe from the red up here. So let's put some of that in. Um, I'll take some black with some cadmium red. I think that would do. Uh, perhaps a tiny hint of blue. It's quite dark, isn't it? It's almost black, really. So let's just, again, the flat brush is perfect for this because I have a very flat edge on my brush. You see that? Let me just see if you can move that, move that on so you can see. Look, it's lovely and flat and sharp. So going left and right with this then makes it just perfect for these reflections, you see? Now, if you're having trouble with this, you can use a small pointy brush as well. That would work just fine. But it would be a little bit more tricky to get it, um, to get these kind of ripply effects. Now, there we go, look, just up in there. <clears throat> now, uh, that's that done. Let's just continue this on a little bit more. It sort of comes right out, doesn't it? Okay, clean the brush, just dip it in your turpentine and give it a wipe on some tissue and I'm going to put some lighter blues in here I'm going to simply take some phthalo blue with a bit of white I don't want to go too bright but I can see a very rich kind of a lightish blue kind of a colour going on in there I really like that it's just a little bit kind of towards the edge out here more so than anything else so I'm just wiggling along there okay just slightly um, a little bit more white and I'm going to um, you see the way the, 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 the you see the way the reflections they kind of wiggle and as they come down you see that 
So that's what I'm doing, look. Okay, let's get another little bit out here. And they're sort of following the curve of that boat around. Take another hint of that, that's a lovely colour. And then I'll just lighten one or two in here as well. Okay. So now you can really start to see it come to life, can't you? Isn't that wonderful? Now I'm going to go really bright just for one or two. So plenty of white and just one or two really bright ones along there, okay? And put one or two out here as well. Let's continue these down. See, isn't that lovely the way it just kind of... There we go. Now, how was that? That's not bad now for one reflection. The last and final step of this side, I would say... Now, it's not final, but the last thing I will do is take some dark colour. So a little bit of black, very thin black. Lots of turpentine. And we just have to put in a couple of lines, okay? So let's just put in a few. Um, let's imagine these coming down and then put in a couple of wiggly lines. Now these lines can kind of break up as well, okay? So let's go like that. You see? Isn't that lovely? And um, we have another one out here, let's say. I'll pick up fresh paint and put another one in here. And we'll put another one or two out here. Now there. How is that? And we can we can kind of add to this if we feel we want to. Um, you know, don't be shy. You can add your own little colours to it if you like, uh, but I would just kind of keep it simple, okay? So perhaps just leave it at that. I might just darken one or two out here, because that's a nice effect, a really lovely effect there. Um, I might kind of stretch one or two of these out like that, look. Okay. <clears throat> now, we are going quite well, aren't we? I'm gonna put in the center piece in here, this kind of lighter color. Um, it doesn't really show on the reflection too much, but I'm going to put it in. I think it's a nice, it would be a nice touch. I'll put a little bit on this side. You see what I mean? I think it just gives a nice little separation, that's all. Now I may need to kind of add a little bit more to that centre piece. So let me just take a slightly bigger round brush, a little bit of cadmium red and a little bit of crimson, perhaps a hint of burnt umber as well. And I'm going to make this nice dark rich red colour. I'm going to just strengthen some of that here and there, look. And that would really give a much nicer impact. And I know on the photograph it's more of a blacky kind of a colour. But I just think this would look a bit better. There, we are finished the left side. Isn't that wonderful? Now I may... I think I might just darken some of this red in here, give it a bit of shadow, okay? And there we go. Let's move on to the next side. Um, this will be interesting because we have yellows going on with blues and there's a chance we could hit some green. We could cause some green in there, so let's be careful. Um, now. <clears throat> 
I will start, I think, with the darker colours and work my way out. I think that's a good plan. So I'll start with my darks. Again, dark shadowy colour in here. So let's mix up plenty of this shadowy colour. Thalo blue, some crimson, little white, and then I'm thinking maybe a hint of black, okay, just to kind of darken it down a little. Now maybe a bit more white and a hint more blue. So you can adjust this kind of colour as you go along. If you feel it needs to be lighter, just add a bit of white and vice versa. Let's have a look at this and see. Okay, I think that might do for I think that might do for some of it. Let's just lighten it slightly again. I'll take a maybe a hint more pink. I don't want it to be very, very blue. I leave the red, okay, so I'm gonna put a suggestion of the line in there where that red is. So just like that, okay. And then I'm going to fill in this color here. I'm just gonna fill all that in. I put a bit more white into it. I'm not going to go as far as the brighter side, okay? I'm not going to go right over there. I'm just going to stop before I hit that bright side. All right. So now I have kind of a medium color, a nice medium shade of gray. The next thing I'm going to do is just clean my brush. I think I put in that red first, that dark reddy kind of shade. I need some cadmium red on my palette. So let me just get some cadmium red and what I'm going to do is just take some cadmium red and let's see now, this is nice and rich isn't it, so cadmium red, um, a little bit of burnt umber perhaps, let me try that and have a look, yeah that's not bad, let me take some more cadmium red, a little more burnt umber, I'll take a hint of crimson in this, just to darken it down slightly okay. And I'm going to go over a lot and just fill in this area here, okay? All right, over here. Then I'm going to lighten it slightly with some Naples yellow as it comes around to the front. Okay, so let's just pull a bit of Naples yellow into that. And let's just go like that. Okay. Now, there is slightly darker shades as well. I'm going to take some black, put some black with some cadmium red. It's a very dark colour. And I'm going to just darken some of those here and there, look, and give them a wiggle. You can see the direction of where they're coming down, they're kind of coming down towards the left. So I'm just going to very gently pull them down in that direction, okay? Just like so. I'm going to clean my brush again and I'm going to just give this section a little brightness because it's still quite dark isn't it. I'm going to take some cadmium red, a hint of Naples yellow and I just think this needs to be slightly brighter because it's catching the light in there isn't it. I'm just touching it here and there look. And then even the same with the reflection, just put a hint of that in the reflection. Okay. Isn't that lovely? Now I've cleaned my brush again and I'm going to start lightening some of this. So I'm going to take a little phthalo blue. Not too much, just a hint. And plenty of white. 
and I'm going to start putting some of this in just where it starts getting lighter here, okay? So I'm just introducing some lighter colours into that section over there. It gets quite light out here. And you can see I still have a little bit of the kind of the red colour in my brush. So it's sort of mixing slightly into this blue, creating beautiful colours. A nice mix of colours. Okay. Now I'm going to add some of this lighter colour as well, just in here. You see? Then I'm going to clean that and I'm going to go into some white, some real bright white. There's still a little hint of mauve in this now, but it's mostly white, okay? And I want to just really give this a nice bright colour. In here. Again, clean the brush, keep it nice and clean. And we get more white. So I'm just lightening it now as it comes over, you see. I'm getting, making it brighter and brighter as it comes over to the right hand side. And of course the beauty of oils is you can soften all these colours together. If you wish, and if not, you can just put on lots of thick paint which is wonderful. So let me get some thick white, just on its own, look. Lots of thick white. And I'm going to, um, I wanna start adding some yellows into this now in just a moment as well. So I'm gonna clean that again, go back into some fresh white. Pull some of that across. Remember, um, horizontal brush strokes all the time, okay? Don't be tempted to go like this. Um, Try to keep them all horizontal like this, look. Clean the brush again. I keep cleaning my brush because I'm picking up the blue that's already there, you see. And I don't want that. So I can put in on one or two brush strokes, cleaning it, and going back into fresh white again. That's the idea, okay? You see? Just to keep it nice and clean and fresh. Let me try that again a little bit. I'm going to put in more down here. I want to lighten that really light down there, look. And I'm going to lighten some of those in here as well. Then what I'm going to do is take my pointy brush with some darker colour. Let's take a little bit of black, okay? But it's a watery kind of a black. It's not very, very black. And I'm going to suggest some of these darks, you see? Like so. And <clears throat> I think the trick with this is to keep, to keep them similar as you're going along. So for example, this one goes right over like this, so we should make this one similar, okay? You see? And that will give the effect of the, the water kind of dragging it across, dragging the reflection kind of the same way. So like here, for example, you see? So I'm trying to kind of keep them similar as they come down. Does that make sense? So let's try this one. So it goes over like that, then it goes like that. Okay. And that has a much nicer effect, doesn't it? I'll try one more. Um, kind of coming along here.
Ah, tá, não, mas acho. Ok. Time to move on to our brighter colors. And I'll clean my small flat brush again. And give it a really good clean. Okay. And we have some nice bright yellow, don't we? Let's try some cadmium yellow. Some Naples yellow. And some white. Okay. I'll try that color first. And just let me see now what we can do with this. Let's just pop a little bit of that in along here. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna start warming it. I'm gonna start picking up some burnt sienna. So let me get some cadmium yellow here. A little burnt sienna. And then I'm gonna soften that color in to that. And you need to be careful with that blue, okay? Don't go into the blue too much because it'll go green on you. So just be very careful. All right, there we go, that's not bad. Then I'm gonna start warming it as it turns across here, okay? So I'm gonna start picking up some little touches of cadmium red with cadmium yellow. And that'll make it nice and warm, won't it? Give you a nice warm kind of an orangey colour. Look, that's lovely, isn't it? Maybe a hint more cyanide. In with the cadmium red. Let's get some nice dark colours in there. And it's very sort of hit and miss then, isn't it? As it comes down. Take a hint more cadmium yellow. Pop a little yellow in just here and there, look. Um, okay, just like that. And I'm gonna make a nice rich red for down here. It's almost kind of a blacky color coming through here, isn't it? Now, let's put that colour here and there. Let's just give it a little dab. Isn't this coming on lovely now? I just keep looking back at the photograph, okay? That's all. Just keep looking back. Keep glancing at that photograph. A little bit of light on some of these. Um, I'll strengthen that there. Now there's one thing we need to do over here and that's that dark color at the very edge, isn't it? So I'm going to go with um, a little burnt umber and a bit of black, okay? Not too much, I don't want it very, very dark. But lots of turpentine, okay? Make this very, very wet. And let's start like that. And it goes just in and out, in and out, look. You see? Don't be afraid to try it. Just give it your go. Just give it a go. Okay? Don't be don't be afraid. You won't ruin it, I promise. Just try it. Um, if you do make a mistake, you can just let the painting dry and paint back over the painting again. Just do give it a try because you'll never know until you try. To be honest, I didn't think it was going to turn out this nice. Um, I thought I was going to make a bit of a mess of it earlier on. But look, I'm, I'm happy enough. 
I'm quite happy with how this has turned out, to be honest. Let's go in here, and let's go and give these a little bit of one in between the yellow hair, see? Now, I want to sharpen up some of those over there. In fact, I think I'll go back to my small brush because I'm not very happy with that shadowy side over there. I might just go back and lighten some of them, perhaps. I'll go in between some of the black look and I'll just make it more of a solid colour. Does that make sense? See, just give it a bit of a wiggle. And then I'm going to just sharpen up some of the darks because I, some of those lines, I just think they need to be a little bit A little bit darker, that's all, look. Just a touch. There, that's much better. And I might also strengthen that centerpiece as well. I might just give that a little bit more of a punch. Would you agree? There, that's a bit better. So, all that's left now really is to add little touches of um, a white. Go to tip your brush. Let me zoom in. Okay, just, I'm thinking just little touches of white to suggest the light catching the reflection. Here and there. So for instance, um, a little bit of, tiny bit of a lightness catching there. Okay, and I can see a tiny little couple of dabs over here. And that'll act as a nice separating color there as well. Perhaps one or two there. See, just very, very kind of subtle, very, very subtle shades. Let's put one or two down there, like that. One or two pieces here, kind of catching the light slightly. Um, I might put a little bit of a light up here. And that turns. So that will then reflect in down here slightly. Look, you see? Isn't this lovely? But don't overdo it, just keep it simple. I might add a few little touches of white here and there down at the bottom. Okay. And I think that's fine. I don't want to overdo it. I might just suggest again this line here, okay? Because I think that needs to be brought out just slightly. And my friends, I think that's fine. I think that's enough. As they say, less is more in some cases. Um, I don't want to overdo this. In fact, I might just take my flat brush and just pop a few solid sections of white just in here and there. Just to make this section down here a little more prominent, okay? Um, rather than kind of mixing them in. You see what I mean? Just a little flick of white in here and there. And there's one last thing I have to do, which is very important in every painting. Let's sign our name. Isn't that correct? 
S. Conway. So I hope you've enjoyed this. That was really, really enjoyable, I must say. Um, you could tip away now just kind of adding little tiny bits and pieces here and there if you wanted. But, you know, try and keep it simple. You don't have to overdo it. Just try to keep it nice and simple. There we are, my friends. Reflection of a boat finished. Isn't that wonderful? I must say I am very, very happy with that. So there we go. Just try to keep it simple. If you have any questions, please do just ask. Uh, don't be shy. You have my email, it should be in the link. Stephen Conway 12 at gmail.com. Um, thank you so much. Please do subscribe uh, if you haven't done so already. Um, pop over to Patreon if you want to see lots more videos like this, in-depth videos. Uh, and it's just a way for you to support me, that's all. If you want my stubby brushes, I have a little set of three stubby brushes. Um, the link should be in the description down below. Um, and just remember, when you're getting stubby brushes, you have to use them a few times, let me show you. You, have to, you see the way that's kind of splayed out? When you buy them, when, I, when you get them first, they're very, very sharp. They're very kind of thin and very sharp, okay? They're very thin like this. Um, they have to be used a couple of times and then they start splaying kind of outwards like that, you see? And they're fantastic then for bushes and for uh, trees and grasses and stuff like that. So just remember, just bear that in mind, okay? Um, have a look and see what you think. Thank you so much. I will be back next week. I might paint my dog next week. Um, Bella, I might paint my dog. She's a little Shih Tzu kind of a dog. White, um, kinky kind of hair. Uh, I might try and paint her. I think it would be a nice little tutorial. Let me know what you think. Thank you and God bless. Um, happy painting and try to enjoy it, okay? Have a bit of fun. I will see you very, 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 very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.